Enhancement and BDO. Some people love it and some people hate it with a passion. Regardless of where you stand on it though, you should know the basics behind the enhancement system as it is a core mechanic in BDO. Today's beginner guide discusses Black Desert Online's enhancement system, fail stacks, the Nader's Band, and Kafras, all of which are important to know to progress your gear and improve it to gain more AP, DP, and other substats. Now, if you're like me and you're not the biggest fan of enhancement, the system can be essentially bypassed for quite a long time by using the guaranteed pen system for your armor, weapons, and an accessory, which I will have guide links for in the description below. However, you will need to do at least some enhancement to enhance your season character gear, which all new players should be playing on a season but thankfully that isn't nearly as hard as the mid to end game enhancement and i have a guide on how to progress your naru and tuvala gear easily which can be found again in that description below before we get into this video guys i do just want to thank today's sponsor ewin racing I've been using an Ewin Racing gaming chair for my stream setup for a long time now, and I absolutely love it. It's got all the things you would expect from your gaming chair. It's got a lumbar pillow. It's got a neck support. You are able to move the back up and down. Of course, you were able to ascend and descend with an arm on the side of the chair, and you are also able to move and adjust the angle of the armrest, which can be really, really handy depending on where you have your mouse positioned. The build quality of the chair is really, really good. It's extremely comfortable, and I'm able to sit in this thing for hours with absolutely no issue. If you want to pick up a chair for yourself, I personally have the champion model. You're able to go onto Ewin's website and shop their current available listings. They have some current deals and ongoings on their homepage. You can then look at their list of gaming chairs as well as their new line of gaming desks and find some specials of what they have on for sale. You can pick a, anything up from their store for 30% off using code DOTS at checkout and click the link in the description below. But DOTS, what even is enhancement? Well, curious viewer, enhancement is the process of upgrading your gear utilizing certain types of black stones to make it better and increase its stats. You can place a piece of gear that you want to enhance in the enhancement window by talking to the black spirit and hitting enhance, and it will show you what kind of black stone you need to actually complete the enhancement. Enhancement in BDO is not guaranteed though, and you instead have a percent chance to upgrade your gear, so get ready to pray to R and Jesus. The higher you upgrade your gear, the lower the chances are to upgrade to the next level. However, if you successfully upgrade a piece, it will improve and get a stat increase. The different levels of enhancement that you can have in BDO are are as follows. Zero is just a base piece. You then have one through 15. Pry, which is represented by Roman numeral one. Duo, which is represented by two. Tri, represented by three. Tet, represented by four. And Pen, represented by five. When you're upgrading your gear above duo though, if you fail, you don't just simply fail like you would below duo. Your gear piece instead actually downgrades one level. So if you fail a duo to try enhancement, it will instead go back to pry. So making your odds and making sure your odds are as good as possible when you're enhancing is very important to make sure the enhancement is successful. You can also utilize a type of item known as a cron stone to prevent the piece from downgrading. However, this also does prevent you from gaining a fail stack if you fail and fail stacks will be discussed in a bit cron stones can be acquired in a lot of different ways from drops to heating costumes off the pearl shop plus marketplace events daily login rewards purchased at blacksmiths and much more the higher you're upgrading your gear the more cron stones will be required to prevent a downgrade and you can also see how many cron stones are required when you have a piece in the enhancement window and then you just have to click use cron stones and it will use them in general, it is not recommended to use cron stones though, unless you're at a much higher tier of enhancement and they should be pooled for those really low percentage upgrades. Accessories enhance similarly, except there's no one through 15 you need to get through and instead you just start right at pry on your first successful enhancement. Also, instead of using black stones, you actually need to use a base version of the accessory to complete the enhancement. So, for example, if you're trying to enhance a Tungrad ring, you need to use Tungrad rings as the materials for the enhancement. In addition, though, if you do fail, the accessories don't just downgrade. They're actually completely destroyed, which is why personally I avoid accessory enhancement and try to just buy mine off the marketplace to avoid the headache. But 
It can be something fun to do if you're willing to just roll the dice or if you just have some extra pieces flying around from a certain grind spot. Similarly to armor and weapons, you can use cronstones to help prevent the destruction and downgrading of the accessories, although even with cronstones, they still do have a chance to downgrade, but it 100% uh, prevents the destruction. Now, you can make your odds better by utilizing fail stacks, which I mentioned earlier, as well as something called Valk's Cry. A fail stack is gained as a failure protection when you fail a non croned upgrade attempt. However, you can apply a fail stack before you even start enhancing. By using Blackstones, you can build a fail stack of up to at least 30 by clicking the plus sign next to additional enhancement chance in the enhancement window and also utilizing Valk's Cry. And you can add another 10 fail stacks using those by clicking the plus sign next to Valk's enhancement chance. Past that, you are going to need to use an advice of the Valks, which is like a can fail stack. These are required through a ton of different methods, or you need to build a higher fail stack yourself. People have their own preferred method of building fail stacks. However, this is something that I was recommend that was recommended to me when I first started. Like I mentioned, 0 to 30 just uses those black stones. 30 to 80 can be built up on higher tiered Tuvala pieces during a season. 80 to 110 can be built up on try to tet boss gear or duo to try black star attempts. 110 to 180 can be built up on tapping pen boss gear or tet black star. And 180 to 210 is typically built up on pen boss armor attempts or low pen lower end accessory attempts. Personally, though, I'm going to be honest, I haven't built a fail stack in a long time because I have an overabundance of advice to the Valk, so I have a lot of fail stacks just chilling in my inventory because I don't really enhance all that much. Uh, but like I did say, this is just the method that was recommended to me when I first came back to BDO, and I do think the logic is very sound. In terms of what fail stacks you should be using on your piece, I will again have a guide in the description below for Naru and Tavala here that I made myself, but for everything else, I'll link a Grumpy Green Cricket article that has some recommendations on some numbers. Now, when you fail an enhancement, assuming it's a piece of weapon or armor, the piece will lose durability, which once it gets too low, you will be unable to enhance the piece again until you restore its max durability. To do this, you need to talk to a blacksmith and click repair and then recover max durability and afterwards repair the item once that max durability is recovered. Max durability can be repaired by destroying another of the same kind. So let's say you're trying to repair a Tuvala chest. You can repair it using additional Tuvala chests and they can and be the base item and it's good like i said for pieces like naru and tuvala however for expensive repairs like boss gear uh, black stars etc you can instead use memory fragments to restore the durability optionally you can also use a pearl item called artisan's memory which will cause less memory fragments to be used when repairing the item so like the individual memory fragments become more effective so it requires you to use less when actually repairing the item now, something that can be difficult if you don't know how to do it is actually juggling the fail stacks. For example, just using some easy numbers that I'm just making up for the sake of an easy example, let's say you hit a pry piece you know, that you want on a 100 stack and a duo would you would need a 150. Now, let's say you're using the 150 going for that duo and the piece actually downgrades to pry. Now you have that 150 something stack, but now what do you do with that? You're trying to upgrade for pry. You don't want to use that stack. That's your, your duo stack. So what do you do with it? This is where the Nader's Band comes in. This account-wide system lets you store fail stacks to allow you to easily switch between different ones. Getting this is really easy. Simply reach level 58 and accept the quest Nader's Band Magic of the Dark Energy from the Black Spirit. Finish his basic questline in Tarif and get a one-slot Nader's Band. You can also gain up to four additional slots, one with 10,000 loyalties and three with pearls costing 1,100 pearls per slot. You can actually also use alts to hold fail stacks as well by moving the fail stacks from, let's say, your main where you're doing the enhancement onto the Nader's Band, logging into the alt, and then clicking on that stack in the band to then put it on that character. I know me personally, I have like a really high fail stack stored on one of my boss alts because I only typically use that for Jay's Hammer attempts or high, really, really high tiered enhancements where I, we're going to be using crons and I don't really do it all that often. So I store it on an alt until the time comes that I need it. Then I put it back on my band, then back onto my main, and then I would go ahead and use it. Now, once your gear is at pen, there's actually another form of enhancement, but thankfully this has no RNG involved, and it is known as coffers levels. Adding coffers stones to your gear will add additional stats to the gear and can even increase the AP and DP of the piece. Coffers levels go up to level 20 and can add and can be added to boss armor and weapons or green quality gear, but not to black star nor fallen god gear. 
Uh, typically, I really only recommend adding coffers to gear once it's pen, and it's unnecessary to add it prior in my opinion. Getting your helmet and chest or coffers level 10 when they're pen is actually really important as well, as it lets you upgrade the pieces to Labraska and Fallen God respectively, which are important end game pieces that you are going to want to get. A chart on the number of coffers required to upgrade its coffers levels can also be found in the description below, again courtesy of Grumpy Green Cricket. To add coffers, simply talk to the Black Spirit, press Enhance, and click the Coffers tab. Coffers can also be removed from gear by talking to a blacksmith, clicking Extraction, and paying the fee to remove the stones. You also will get a small amount of coffer stones on failed gear enhancement attempts with crons. But guys, I think that pretty much covers it today on the basics of the enhancement system and a lot of the systems surrounding it. Hopefully, if you are new to BDO and were confused on the ins and outs of this system, hopefully this guide broke down those simply and now you have a better understanding of it. If you do have any questions further or something I, I missed or didn't explain well enough, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to get to it and help you out. If you guys did like this video and found it helpful, I really would appreciate it a lot if you hit the like button as it really does help me in the YouTube algorithm. And you could also subscribe for more Black Desert Online beginner content. I appreciate you guys stopping by and spending some time with me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one.